What's going on guys, it's Global Pixel here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a OBS tutorial, green screen tutorial, the source mirror plugin in OBS. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to utilize your green screen in a different way and hopefully it can add some spice to your channel. I saw this on a video and I thought it was really cool and I decided, hey, why don't I just show you guys how to do it too? It's very, very beneficial for any streamers or content creators out there that want to like maybe stand out on a category of a game or if they want to brand themselves more accordingly to a specific color or a color scheme on their channel. A lot of people have asked me, how do you do this? So I'm here to teach you guys how to do it. It's called Stream Effect. Stream Effects is basically a package full of pl plugins for OBS. It's not just the mirror plugin. There's a bunch of other plugins that you could play with, but we're going to specifically only focus on the mirror plugin because that's the only plugin we need for this type of effect on your green screen. So let's just get on to the video and let's just hop into OBS right the links in the description below are going to lead you straight to this website. Basically, it's a bunch of developers and coders that make little effects like this for us to use on OBS. This is just the installation page on how to go step by step, just in case you get stuck or if you're on Windows or Mac OS. This is the actual page that you're going to want to go to so you can download everything all at once. You're going to want to go and press this code button here. You're going to download the zip file. Once you download the zip file, it's good. the download is going to pop up on a folder right here. Once you get into there, you right click and put extract all. It will automatically just go straight into your OBS. You shouldn't have a problem. Once you have everything downloaded, extracted, you will finally have a source right here called source mirror. Now, when you add a source mirror, right? It's going to give you this little option here and this is going to pop up and a bunch of sources are going to pop up. Initially, you could copy any type of source, but this is mainly for a camera in our case right now for this tutorial. You're going to want to look for your main cam. I have it under a 73 regular green screen. That's my source. Make sure that you know which one you're doing because you don't want to get mixed up with like other sources or other nesting sources that you've done before. So make sure you pick the right one. Once you have the right settings for your source mirror, you're going to want to put both of them together. Make sure that your main camera is on top and your mirror source is on the bottom, just like these two, just exactly like this, right? This is what you want. You want to have a full color like this. You don't see me physically, but I'm, I'm technically here, but it's just a different color. So the way to do that is really simple. Right click, go to filters in the source mirror, make sure of your camera. You're going to want to add a color correction. When you go to color correction, I have one already added, but I want to show you guys the example of how to do this. Let's say you want color orange, right? Pick the color you want. You have the HTML coding here. If you're looking for a specific color to match exactly like your theme, you can try to find it online on Google. Just write HTML colors. Just look at it like that. And you could just put the code here and it works the same. We're going to do orange. This is not what we want. We want everything to be full, of just one color. The way to do that is by putting up the brightness and then I become one solid color. You might have to mess with these settings just to like, you know, mess around. So I'm like completely gone. You could kind of see me a little bit here, but it's just so you can definitely take me away and you won't have any problems, you know, make sure that they're unlocked so you could like move them around and stuff. What initially is going to happen is you're going to have two sources of your camera, but one with color like this one, and then one that's normal like this, right? What do you do? This is why you need your main camera on top when you're layering them right here at the bottom. You see how my main camera, which is my a7 III green, regular green screen, and then Sony a7 III red outline, the main camera on top, and then your outline or whatever color you want as the bottom part. You're going to want to like fix it up how you want, right? So make sure if you want it so it's not like locking, like you know how this locks, make sure to hold control so you can like move it around as much as you want. You're going to want to like align it how you want. So you could do like maybe like a little shadow thing or go like down here. Or you could do it like perfectly like this. You kind of have to just play around with it and see what fits you. I absolutely love the way it looks right now. I don't want to mess it up. So what you're going to want to do if you want to move the source, but without moving them separately by mistake, because that's happened to me, you're going to want to group them. So you hold the shift button and then make sure you select the source, right? Your main camera, you hold shift, go scroll down, right click and then group selected items. When you have it grouped like this, you can move it around and it's in perfect sync. You're not gonna like mess up the background of it. Just make sure to follow that 
one specific step because it's really important. I do have one more big issue with this plugin. The only thing that bothers me, and I'm gonna explain to you what can happen and what can go wrong so you can try and fix it as you go. So let's just say for instance, it doesn't work for you because sometimes maybe if you switch, it'll like go a little wacky, right? What I used to do when I wanted to fix this, pick the scene that I wanna go to, which is back at this one over here, the preview, but I had to go here go to my mirror source and then double click it to like restart it. It was kind of annoying, but I don't think you're going to have that issue anymore because I think they fixed the problem completely. Add some spice to your channel. If you have a green screen, do this. It's going to help you guys a lot. Maybe trying to stand out. Maybe you have a certain color. Maybe you have a favorite color. Add your favorite color. And there you guys have it. There goes a full tutorial on OBS, a certain plugin called the Mirror Source plugin. It's really cool. And I hope it brings some new viewers into your stream. Any kind of category, whatever game you're playing, whatever you're doing, I hope it helps you stand out a little bit. Make sure to like this video. It helps with the algorithm. Make sure to leave a comment. Ask me a question. Is there anything else you guys want to see from me? I love making videos like this. I love doing tutorials and stuff. So if there's anything you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to join the discord if you have any type of questions for me i'm more than willing to help you out uh, all my dms are open all that is open so if you have any questions let me know make sure to check out my twitch channel i stream every thursday friday 8 30 p.m ish eastern time if you have any questions drop by the twitch stream and ask me right there in the chat box i have no problems answering or helping you guys out thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to catch you guys on the next one peace out